What is up? Good morning, my adventure crew. Nick Morris here. Welcome to another episode of Real Adventures Hawaii. My voice is messed up because it's our third day of fishing. I will be yelling and laughing all three days. Or all, all two days. Today we have Monster Matt with us. Morning, And of course, Ninja Henry. So, it's the flattest day of the, the three days. And, uh, you know, uh, last week we got an eye. Well, last week we got an eye. We told somebody in on the second day. Today's the third day. We'll see if we make something happen today. We're going to run up towards the east side of the island and try to see if we can hit a couple of the local fads, see if there's something around. Well, our lineup today is a 100%er, a blind jetted scoop, a blue hat on my short corner over here, the center, we're going to run a B52, and then uh, we're going to run a. Uh, the one that caught the eye, and you can't win this lure. We're gonna pick a winner for this lure this week in this video. And then a uh, cup, and a uh, short yeah. center, purple snow globe, seven inch. There you go. And a brain fart for a minute. But if you're new here, we post new videos every Sunday, 7 p.m. Hawaii time. Get these lures in the water, and as always. You gotta get something, you gotta get something, you gotta see the sea god. We love to have to these. Let's get that picture first started, boys and girls. Thumbs up for good luck. Okay, so we got our line set. Uh, sunscreen is on. Now we're fishing. The lines are off. We have months of that driving. On this boat, everybody's a captain. That feels lucky, so we're gonna let him go first. If you go flat, we're switching out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna head you right in the reverse call, girl. <laughs> we'll see what we can run over. Yep. We're gonna head east, and we're gonna hit a fat on that side. There's not too many fads in all our, around along this, so we're gonna hit a fat on that side. Fat is a fishing, a fishing aggregate device, so we'll see. So here I'm ready to run my first buoy or fishing fat of the day. So we're gonna put out one small lure on the corner, just in case there's something around. All right, nothing much about that buoy. We're gonna keep going up to the east side, and we're gonna. Check the buoy up there, see if there's something. So at the buoy now, I'm wearing Matt's glasses, bomber glasses. I got a bit, these glasses are pretty set. I wear costumes, but I think I lost them yesterday. <laughs> Sad to say. So Matt, let me borrow his extra glasses. I don't know much about bomber glasses, but it seems pretty good. Um, so uh, we're at a uh, buoy, lots of boats. This combat fishing, there's a lot of boats here. Some good marks going on. And I haven't seen anybody catching it yet. There's some good marks. Mark is a good sized fish, about 20 fathoms down. Maybe shooting, maybe eyes, I don't know, but there's some good marks. So we're clearing the eyes now, we're gonna sit up and then, uh, let's sit. We're on the smaller green stick lures, they're like six inch lures, seven inch lures. We're on those. Let's see if we can get lucky with a bite. But uh, let's get everything cleared up. So we're sitting on the stick line right now. What number is that? Four or five? Four. Five. Five. Here we got the stick up. We got it running. We're going to make a nice pass. We're going to come down and we're going to see if we get some fireworks for the boys. For you guys. For the boys and girls. Alright, let's go down, make a turn. I'm gonna go up a little bit, Matt, and I'm gonna turn. Alright, for the dream, boys and girls. So, let me explain to you what green stick fishing is before we actually show you it. So, we have the green stick or the pretty much outrigger that comes off the boat connected to a bird that's about 150 to about 170 yards back. The bird's job is to keep your main line tight. With the main line tight, the drop lines are able to drop down 
and uh, have a beak that skips on the water. The beak gives off a very natural look because you're not seeing any line in the water. You're only seeing a bait skipping. Uh, it pretty much looks like a flying fish, malolo, or any other bait fish. A very, very natural look. And that's why it tends to, I guess, I guess in theory, pull the bite a little bit better. That's all excited now. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Hey. That was cool, baby. Hey, you're digging work. You liked it. What you talking about? Hey, come grab the split camera. I flipped it. Hold on. Keep them in here on it. Yup, yup. Yeah, you. Hey, Dad. Green stick action, guys. First green stick, little baby. Uh, yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Come on, 10 pounds, huh? Yeah? Yup. Um, First green stick bite ever. We'll take that, guys. The one we had earlier was bigger, I think, though. Yeah. Yeah. Did get some water? Uh -huh. Just pump, put some water in the EQ ball. Put some water in the EQ ball. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm ready for it. Let's go, man. Nah, we're going to get a tactic. I guarantee you that. Just keep it straight, baby. Yeah, yeah. Fucking well, I'm going to There's no room to try and get a tackle on this yeah. match. No problem, baby. No, we'll get it. Yeah. There's one. Yeah. Missed it, missed it. You missed it? Yeah. Missed it. Are you on? Yeah. You're on, yeah? Yeah, yeah, you're on. Yeah. Jumps around. Let's move on, Steve. Good job, boys. Good job, boys. Keep them in, get it. Yup. Little wrap. Okay, honey, you dropped off. That's it. What is he on, number two? I think so. Yeah. Okay, honey, you dropped off. See, he might just came off, yeah? Oh, he's on number three. He's on number three. Number three? Yeah. No, he came off, he came off. He came off? He came off, yeah. He gone. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Henry. Okay. Alright, Henry. Just keep going, keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I'm in here, I'm in here. He's trying to push me down, huh? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're good. Oh, how's that for running by the buoy, boys? Yeah. Yeah, I'm never running on that side of the buoy again. Right. No. No. Henry, you got one on there, Henry? Yeah. No one. Henry, being cocky is not telling us, Henry. Trying to load up that, Henry. <laughs> Henry. Oh. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah, let him go. Yeah, you. Okay, put him back up. Little did we know, but the next group of fish we're about to get right here would be a key role in our success this day. Oh, right there. there you go. Oh, missed him, Henry. Bounce it, bounce it, Henry. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, came off. Came off, Henry. Keep bouncing right there. Missed. You got it, huh? Go, miss. There. Double. Double. Triple. Double. You got on the worm, too? Yeah. I get double on this one. Why, does the worm have one? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Keep that. That's a teaser. Matt pull, put a worm out for for oh, bonus. You two or one? Yeah, two. Oh no, no, one. Aku. Get us in, huh? 
Now those came off. Okay, play that off. That was an awkward pass. The stick is impressive. It works. It works. All right, let's get some more. Give a thumbs up if you guys like watching the stick videos. I tell you what, once the tuna fish start coming around, we're gonna see some yellowfin action. I guarantee you. Proof of concept. That's what today's all about. Proof of concept. All right, getting ready for another pass. As Matt works those trap muscles. Oh boy, this is my trap! Fuck this, bro! <laughs> 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 Alright, let's see if we get a bite. Let's see if we get a bite. Thumbs up, you guys. See ya. If you see a bite, you're gonna fall in, Matt. We're gonna have to fold On. Small one, huh? Aku. No, keep on. Aku's we must keep. Small should be there, let him go. You gotta go closer. There's some big marks, but the fish is down right now. Yeah. Alright, so that's a, These are the ones that become 200 pound giants right there. Gotta take care of those guys. Show them that. Show the camera. Show the camera. Don't keep small yeah, shoes like this. One or two eat is fine, but these guys, Send them let them go. Let them go, let them grow. Yeah, don't kill the small shoes, let them grow. Just one or two eat, that's fine. But I see guys pounding them. Hundreds of pounds of rats. See that? All right, we'll go again. So we're running the six inch ones for a while now. Uh, what the plan is, is it's like one o'clock right now. We pretty much burnt hardly any fuel doing this. We're like two yards doing this. But uh, the plan is now is we're gonna bring in these small ones. We're gonna have these small ones. We're gonna put the big nine inch ones. We're gonna see if the, the cause there's big sheepies here. Our other friend out here said we saw like 50 pounders. So we just gonna the bigger ones. If not, we'll make a couple passes and then we'll go back to trolling. So we'll see after we done staying back up. So we just got the call. We're leaving the elbow, elbow right now. We're, we're trying to go for my uh, trying to go for sheepies, but a friend just called us it's about 20 miles that way. They found a rubbish full of my mice, hundreds of my mice. So we're gonna fly there and we're gonna see what happens. It's so early, guys. See you guys soon. When you get the phone call, you gotta go. We got the phone call. We do it for an hour. I will see if this rubbish pays off, boys and girls. Hit the thumbs up, hit the likes. It's about to get real. Woo! About to get a real fire drill! Let's get it! So here's the situation. They waited for us so they're low on fuel. So we have a little fuel. I always keep extra fuel in the boat for the fuel filters if something happens. So we're gonna give them some fuel. Normally I keep five gallons, I literally have a gallon and a half. So hope that's enough for them. So we're gonna give this fuel and we're gonna work this rubbish. This rubbish is, this rubbish is back there. Alright, one sec. Throw it over. Throw it over some. Just throw it boat. Just hold the gas can for now. Hold the gas can for now. Let's go over there real fast. Okay, thanks guys. Oh, my mice behind the boat. Big ones, big ones. Coming up right now, coming hot. Coming hot for a teaser. He's going for a teaser. He's following a teaser, following a teaser. He's coming for it. Wait. Yeah, let him swallow it. That's a good size one. Got him. On? Okay. That's a good size one. But they're all, around, they're all in the back of the boat. Small ones though. There's some big ones back there, but they're in the back right now.
So I'm going to speed through the footage a little bit and I'm going to cut down the, I guess the boring parts. I'll probably just put a few more clips of those tossing mine. I'm not going to put a whole bunch because it's kind of repetitive, I guess. And boring for you guys to watch. But uh, I know there's some of you guys watching this and you guys are like, oh, you guys are just overfishing this. You know, honestly, this Palmai probably had about 500 fish in the water. There is a ton behind the boat. And we caught less than 100 of them. Uh, we left a lot behind. And... I mean, a lot of these fish end up on dinner tables in restaurants for the tourists. Uh, I'm sure some local families also. But all the fish went to the auction. And uh, for the guys that are complaining, saying, you know, you guys are overfishing. What do you guys want? You guys want 10,000 fishermen to go out there and catch one fish each? It doesn't work that way. This is how fish ends up in the markets and on the restaurants in Hawaii. Uh, if you get a thumbs down, I understand. Not all of us can catch fish. If you get a thumbs up, thanks as always. And uh, I guess I'll let you guys watch the footage roll and then... Uh, We'll take it to the auction and show you what kind of money we get. This style of fishing is definitely a team effort, you know what I mean? Me and Matt over here hooking them and tossing them in. And Henry's job is pretty much to cut the bait and trying to keep the pile behind the boat, you know what I mean? He's throwing pieces of chunk bait slowly back there, keeping the pile behind the boat. He's uh, unhooking all the my mys as we throw them in there because we, we have about 43 hooks or so. After that, we have to just keep pulling hooks. So Henry's job is just as important as everybody else's job. You know what I mean? It's one big team working together for the same goal. To put as many of those my my in the box as we can. Henry, you got to make some more Yeah, I'm cutting out. Come around, come around, come around. Come over. So in Hawaii, there is no legal size for Mari Mai. Uh, bag limit wise, I don't think there's a bag limit. I do have a commercial fishing license, so I am allowed to catch and take to the market. Uh, another thing also is Mai Mai is one, probably one of the fastest growing fish uh, in the ocean. Actually, it is one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean. They grow between one to two inches a week, and uh, they came up to a little over 40 pounds in less than a year. So they're super, super fast growing fish. Hey, Mike, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. i Here's his IG, give him a follow if you want to follow him, badass diver. Thanks to Shay for giving us the heads up. Life is all about phone calls and opportunities, and thanks, Shay. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go back up. So, thank you very much, Shay, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> right on. All right. Yeah! Bring in the other one, Shay. Hurry up, get some more! I can't wait. I can't wait. <laughs> YouTube is waiting, hurry up! Yeah, we pretty much demolished all the hooks we had, so Henry's pulling hooks, I think we had like 40 something hooks, so we gotta pull hooks. Uh, you know, it worked out, you know, I mean, we cut the akus with the stick at the buoy, and that's some of the best bait ever. Henry, I'm out. What's that, Henry? We're gonna stick down this rubbish and see if we can get a little more action now. So we got all those my mice. Now we're gonna see if we can put something else together.
Hold on here. You right? Yeah. Let me see if we have a little more fish in the boat. We still got room. I feel like I'm working at the zipper at the carnival. <laughs> Taking off the passengers. Okay, this is the fishy one. Yeah. Small one, huh? Let him go. Is it a big guy? Yellow. Yellow. Let him go. Try oh, to let him get bust. Oh, he's bust up? In his eye. Oh. Oh, keep on. All right, small, small shibi. We don't want it, but he's hooked in the eyes, so you're not gonna throw it back like a little ways. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. How much pieces we got? 70. 70, not bad, not bad. We'll take it, so here we go. What's up guys, it's one o'clock in the morning. We're here at United Fish Agency. It's off of the Mai Mai. We tried to come here early. I just like two boats today, so hopefully they're gonna price. We'll see. Pretty sure we'll make some money this trip. And I have Mustard Man helping me. He forgot his mask. So he's wearing Damien's mask. It's a cute little mask. I have my mask at home, so I can borrow one of Damien's masks. <laughs> So I'll offer my money and see what happens, guys. It'll be fun. Sorry about my son today. Good job, Matt. Good job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you So they're still caught there mahi mahi, but they're coming with the first load of fish from the long line boat right now. Some big eye, mostly big eye, some straight marlin, lots of big eyes, lots of marker big eyes, over 100 pound big eyes. It's not bad. So we ended up at 64 pieces. At 412 pounds. So not bad, right? Yeah, not bad at all. We kept, oh, we, we gave our other friend a couple. Matt kept a couple, I kept a couple, Henry kept a couple. So over I think we had like 70 something pieces. So we're not bad. We'll come back tomorrow, we'll get our check and we'll see how we do. Hopefully, 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 we can cover a few of the nights. I'm hoping, we'll see. Okay, good luck guys, we'll see what happens. So what's up guys, we're back at home. Uh, I don't know if I picked the winner yet for the for the uh for the ahi video so here's the winner of the ice blue head for the ahi video right there you know i, I just picked up my check uh, i'm gonna go do, go over the breakdown to you guys but you know on my my video i posted a picture on instagram of all the my eyes we caught and there was a a lot of positives but there's a few of course there are a few, a few little negative nancies but uh you know honestly the the people that are commenting saying you guys overfish you guys overfish you know nothing about the fishery at all you know zero about the local fishery if you're commenting negative stuff on this video you know zero about the local fishery and your comments are going to show okay a hook and line fisherman will never outfish your fishery okay long line guys are hook and line guys they'll never outfish your fishery those guys are too selective on their catching their catch the their catch to the hook ratio is very low right 
the evil of the ocean is the personers. These guys that go and they catch the whole school of fish with no remorse. That right there is the evil of the ocean, okay? So if you want to bitch about guys catching too much, you know, bring your grip up with the personers. Guys are saying, oh, that's the reason Hoya has no nine of fish. It's not because of the hook and line, guys. What you don't understand is, you guys don't understand the bigger picture. I'm going to break it down for you guys. I might go on a little rant right now, but let me break it down for you guys. The long line fishermen for fish Northwest Hawaiian Islands right now, okay? They got pushed back because of the E, the EAZ or EZ where we can't fish, the no take area, okay? Because the government made restrictions. When they pushed the long line guys out of that area, right? It opened up the doors for all these foreign vessels to come in. So a lot of these foreign vessels are fishing that area now, and they're putting more pressure on Hawaii where they're coming closer, running their purse in their vessels. And with the long line guys gone, they're not able to be over there and kind of like, I guess, police area where they could report if they saw foreign illegal vessels. You know what I mean? Now these guys are running amok on the northwest side. Our vessels can't fish over there, and they're definitely holding, hurting our fish schools over here because they are taking everything. Everything, okay? They don't take one fish. They take everything. How much we make, how much we didn't make this trip. I mean, that was my little rant, because then there's going to be negative comments. You know, it's not even really my, my time. We're catching my my yet. There's going to be trips that are, hopefully are going to be better than this. But... I don't know, we'll see what kind of see what kind of response you have to this video. People are complaining about if they are then we just won't show those trips, you know what I mean? But uh we did okay, not bad. We made eighteen hundred and fifty nine dollars and thirteen cents. Um our expenses weren't too bad. Uh the Mai Mai's, the way they sold them is if they're smaller ones they group like three or four together. If they're bigger ones they do them one at a time. Um our cheapest fish went for uh three dollars and ten cents was our cheapest fish we only had like three fish that went for that price um our most expensive fish was the gutter that went for eight dollars and eighty cents yeah 64 pieces at 437 pounds with the aqua 65 pieces at 447 uh but our average price was 461 a pound was what we averaged so overall not too bad you know what i mean uh the auction took their cut, so the auction's cut was $200, because we made over $2,000, but the auction's cut is 10%, so $200, which is fine. They do a lot of hard work for us. They help our, us fishermen out, so I can't complain. Once we can start getting back in the, the auction, uh, I'm going to try to film more in there and show you guys a little bit more. It's interesting. It's super cool what happens over there, the way they run it. You know what I mean? That is the biggest fish auction in the United States. $1,859.13. That is, that is what we made right there, okay? Um, fuel wise, fuel wise, I burned 54 gallons or 53 gallons. We'll just say 54 to be safe. 54 gallons. And normally I don't burn that much fuel, but because I was up by that one boy running the green stick and we had the call, we had to run about 27 miles or so, 28 miles. We ran there pretty wide open. We had a little bit more in here, but we didn't want to stretch your legs that hard, you know what I mean? But we had some more juice, but we were pushing about 20 knots the whole way there. So we were boogieing on the way there. We got there really fast. Um, so we, we burned a little more fuel than normal. Ice-wise, I had ice from uh, the day before. So all I picked up was another another four bags of ice. So, because we had a ton of ice. I picked up another four bags of ice, so that was $20 in ice. So overall, as you can see, not too bad, you know what I mean? Put somebody in, uh, so overall, pretty good day, you know what I mean? We put somebody in a boat's pocket to help cover expenses, um, cover, you know, we gotta do maintenance and stuff. Put some in Matt's pocket, some in Henry's pocket. So overall, a great trip. I didn't film what happens next week yet. We're going to go fishing later on this week. I haven't filmed what's happening next week. So hopefully it's something exciting. But stay tuned next week. We're going to announce um, what's, I guess, next week we're going to announce how you can win a trip to go fishing with us. We'd love to have you come fishing with us. If you live in the mainland or Hawaii, it doesn't matter. If you live in the mainland, we're going to give you a year's pass. If you live in Hawaii, you have a pass as long as you want. It doesn't matter. A year, I guess. Whatever it is. We'll figure it out next week's video. Here are some outtakes from uh, this past week's video. And I was, as always, guys, we post new videos every Sunday. Check out highfishgear.com. Some of the best deals in the island for fishing gear, hands down, by far. Use the raw 5 code, get 5% off. And uh, I guess we'll see you next week, guys. The eye are starting to come around slowly. They're very, very, very late. So pretty bad bite so far this season. But I have a goal in my head what I want to hit. I have a real goal in the head what I want to hit. So we'll see. We're kind of far off that goal right now, but we'll see. Hit the video. Give a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe. New videos every Sunday. I'll see you guys next week, Sunday, 7 p.m. Hawaii time. As always, guys, 
Tail line sea fishing. I will see you on the water or under the water. What about the fish? You want this fish from the sea? The water's too murky, too hard to see. And the farmer man.